Hi, everyone. I thought today I would uh, chime in and talk a little bit about either finding or keeping your routine. So I know right now where a lot of us are on in kind of an uncertain time and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, a month from now. So a lot of us are under stress and I understand that. So we got to figure out what can we do right now that's going to keep moving us forward, right? So we got to make sure that we stick to our routine. So a lot of us now are asked to work from home and that's gonna really put us off because uh, in the past, we had our chance to go away, to see different sort of um, environments, be, be exposed to different people. Right now, we're potentially all by ourselves and others are with family, with kids. And so that's gonna add an extra stress, a stress level that we have to actually just try to control. So having that routine or what we had before, as much as you can, try to stick to that routine. So whether if that means getting up at seven o'clock in the morning, try to keep that routine going. Get up at 7 a.m., do your morning routine, whatever that is, grab a coffee, uh, do a workout, read a book, try to maintain that. And for some of us, it might be a little bit more difficult now that we have our kids staying home with us. So maybe you might have to adjust based on what you're doing. So try to find that window and maybe have um, someone else watch your kids or your wife watch your kids. So you really want to find that time for yourself and still maintain your routine. That's important. It gives us structure. It gives us consistency going forward. It might not be perfect as it was before, but that will give us some sort of consistency. I think, oh, we're back on live. There was a little bit of a connection there. So that's important. And if we have something to look forward to, that could be a simple workout, that can be a certain time of dinner, it's going to give us that drive to keep going, that purpose that we're looking for to keep moving forward. Otherwise, if we're kind of going through our daily routine um, with no sort of structure. We're going to be all over the place. It's going to affect so many different parts of our of our daily routine in our physical and mental state. So you won't be able to, you'll feel a little lethargic, you won't wanna work out, you're gonna opt for uh, more sugary foods and not healthy foods, you're gonna have affected sleep, it won't be the same kind of quality. So all these things can have a host of different negative effects. So we really, really wanna maintain some sort of structure. And if you never had a structure before, try to find some things, try to find where you can actually put in um, a certain time frame where you're going to be doing this. That can be reading a book. That can be going for a walk. That can be um, spending time with your kids. It can be, but if you're kind of all over the place, it's going to be really tough to move forward. Right now at the time where a lot of people are stuck and they're afraid of what's going to happen in the future because we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen a week, a month, months from now, right? So we don't know. We got to, again, know where we're at and try to keep moving forward. We don't want to go backwards. We don't want to um, frighten up and actually just not do anything and just hope everything will go away. Some things actually, we just have to adapt. We got to be adaptable. So whatever our situation is in, we have to find a way to be adaptable. How can we now adjust where we are, what we have around us, and how can we keep moving forward? Because people might need us, right? It could be our family, our friends, and if we're not at our, our highest uh, potential, we're going to not provide that assistance where they need it. So again, the structure is important. It's going to keep us moving forward. It's going to keep us consistent. It won't be perfect for what we had before, but we want to go as close as possible uh, as it was before. And having that chance to really, really be there for ourselves and for others is super important. All right, guys. So try to find and keep that routine that you are, are, are have been doing in the past when you were going to work or when you were asked to leave your house. Try to keep something similar to that at home now, right? Try to mix and match what you can do with what you have at home. And that could be with your kids, with your pets, with your uh, parents, whoever it's going to be. Trying to keep that same sort of routine going is going to be super important not only physically, but mentally, right? So this is an important time that we got to keep progressing forward, right? Don't let this thing stop us. 
don't let fear uh, paralyze us. We got to keep things going and maintain a healthy mind and a healthy body. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Peace.